And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Malphite. This is Garen Spotlight Stream Day. Um, usually we have the Spotlight Night Wednesday night here with our champions. Our schedule got a little messed up this week. We're doing it today on Friday. So we got four decks um, all with Garen. If you watched the stream yesterday or the first video with Lulu Fiora yesterday, you saw that we just took the random number generator out um, for the champion and the champion that we rolled was Garen. And so we're gonna be playing four different decks. Um, the thing about the, the this kind of day is we're playing four decks with four different region combinations and hopefully all of the decks are competitive, right? So like we're not just bringing like some meme tier decks trying to bring out decks that would be comfortable playing in ranked. Um, and so we're gonna start with a popular deck that we just played about a week ago that looked good with Garen and Malphite together. And so we're gonna run this back, see how it does. We had, uh, we're changing two cards from last time. We had the three mana, um, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> the three mana landmark, here we go, Spiral Stairs. We had two copies of this in the deck and it just didn't, you know, it just never mattered. It was never a card I wanted to play. It's just not a very good card. Um, so we're, we're taking those two Spiral Stairs out of the deck. Instead, I'm going to play one copy of Laurent Protégé. It's just a really nice card to have access to. It's a good challenger for small champions or just small units. It's a good blocker. Um, you know, it's, it's a really nice quality card. So it's something that, something else we can play on uh, turn three. So we're going to have Laurent Protégé in there. And then I'm putting a second copy of Radiant Guardian because Radiant Guardian was really important for our top end last time. We only had one copy and it showed up big in a lot of games. So let's get a second one in there. And so that's that's the only changes that I made to the deck list. But yeah, it's going to be Garen and Malphite together, some good Celestials and things like that. As far as leveling up Malphite goes for the 12 mana for landmarks, you really just need one copy of Eye of the Rehoric, because this with Daybreak, you get the second one of these. So that's going to be 10 mana for landmarks. And then after that, you only need two, so you only need two other mana. So just a Grand Plaza or the Star Tip Peak. Uh, so that's three things there. Or um, one of your Blue Sentinels dying. Uh, makes a landmark that costs two also, so you're good to go there. But yeah, so this is basically just a deck that's that's built around um, prolonging the game and getting to the late game and then having your Celestial cards um, that you get from like Solari Priestess and Star Shaping take over. We also get uh, some big dragons with Egghead Researcher. But then you can also have just surprise finishes. You know, like once you get to this late game, you have your leveled up Malphite and then you have your you, know, you get your unstoppable force each round. Um, now, <clears throat> the th one thinking is with these two champions is that if you have your leveled up Garen, you round start rally, and so that therefore, if you round start rally, then you can also create an unstoppable force with the rally each each round. Now, uh, from somebody that that commented on YouTube about this combination, they're playing this deck with these two champions, and basically how it works is that. Um, the round starts always go from left to right. So if your Malphite is on the left, then it'll check, you know, do you have the attack token? No, and then it goes to your Garen on the right and then you rally. So you need to set it up if you can with Garen on the left so that <laughs> your Garen will rally first and then Malphite on the right so then it'll see you have the attack token and then it'll create the unstoppable force. So that's something that we gotta watch out for if we can get both of those champions leveled up and in play on the same at the same time all right so let's go ahead and get to it let's play some garen malphite we'll go play five games in ranked all right ash leblanc okay i'm not going to keep bastion or hush i don't know hush could be pretty decent um, especially like they frostbite one of our things, then we could, um, you yeah, we could use like a hush to get rid of the frostbite, but we can't, probably just can't keep those spells right away. Kind of thinking about getting rid of single combat also, honestly. I'll just keep it, but they're a deck with all the combat tricks and everything, so they could probably have a pretty decent answer to a single combat. A little time, I'll have a break. 
Well, this, these two drops line up great for us, which is the good news. The bad news, don't have anything for round three or round four right now. We did not make a very good dragon. Plaza. Plaza it is. Garen's gonna have to do a lot of work. For king and country. Gotcha. Honestly, I guess I probably should just play this either a horror class round. Shouldn't I? Yeah, these Frostbite cards are really getting me, aren't they? They only have three cards left in their deck. Or, sorry, sorry, in their hands. Only three cards left in their hands, and so not, like, a lot. Two cop only two cards because it's all about the judgment right now right so we got that flash freeze out of their hand stand together. it's all about judgment I'll cut them apart. Face me. You're mine. Face me. they have another flash freeze they win they don't, they lose. Yeah. So that's just how it is. I don't have the mana for Bastion as well. Let's just see. Okay, so that's I guess it's not that it's not definite they lose, but they probably do. Come here. That's probably game. <laughs> I guess it is 100% game. There we go. Garen already showing out on the first day for Garen Spotlight. That That is a, a spotlight for Garen right there. Just everything looked to be going pretty bad for us all game. It looked like we were really, like really down, but just Garen and Garen's champion spell saved the day. All right, Zoe Lee Sin. So we lease in the good deck. We don't need Radiant Guardian. And I guess we're gonna mulligan the Egghead Researchers also. Just because I think I'd rather play the Stark Tipped Peak on round two. So we'll go peek into Plaza. I don't know. Maybe I should just keep the researchers for just round five, I guess. Or like after Plaza. Definitely glad no Zoe, because our hand is real was real bad against Zoe. The spirit gives to those who listen. I am prepared.
Deep Meditation is pretty quality. Save this three spell mana. Not exactly for sure for what. But it shall be saved. Obviously, I could try to challenge Serpent, Mountain Goat. But yeah, I thought. I thought Pell Cascade was pretty likely. And now I have the Serpent to challenge this Eye of the Dragon for later. Cosmic Inspiration, definitely amazing if we can get it to resolve. The problem is they're a Deny deck, and they play lots of Denies. And so it's not that likely for it to resolve. Um, I, I'm just going to go with the Destroyer with the Spell Shield. And uh, my next my next attack round is going to be round 7. So like it's also going to get the plus 1, plus 0. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Assuming Lee Sin kills one of these, you know, let lets my Radiant Guardian come down. I guess I can't really play Radiant Guardian if I want to have... Because I probably want to have... Alright, so next round, when I play the Destroyer, I'm going to want to have Hush as well uh, for Lee Sin. Which means I can only spend four mana this round. Guiding touch on the Eye of the Dragon is really likely. But I gotta make him have it. Over to Equinox, the Eye of the Dragon. Probably would have saved that Guiding Touch or something else. Well, Lee Sin's really hard to kill. We got one down. Meditation is definitely the card I want to see the least in their deck. I think I want to keep waiting on this Eye of the Rahoric. Because this, this is a card that can, can slow down Lee Sin. They're usually just going to open attack with Lee Sin, right? So Crescent Strike probably not doing it. steal everywhere. What is gained when you return malevolence? Yeah, I've got twelve mana. So I have, I have enough for Charger, Malphite, and Bastion. Level 
meditation requires concentration. I feel like, okay, I was gonna say if they were gonna use like a concussive palm, I feel like they would want to concussive palm the Malphite, which is why I challenged like that. I mean, I would assume this gets nobified or denied, but yeah, it's got to be one of those. Yeah, nobify. <sighs> so the Scourge is the better card than the Great Beyond. The Great Beyond is safer to play because they can't they can't really concuss a palm the great beyond but the, like if i play the scourge they can just concuss a palm it so that's not as great but it's the much much better card the bad part about the scourge is you know like i said like they i play it they concuss a palm they get equinox then they equinox the scourge i guess at that point i, I could have bastion all right i guess i'll just take it and hope they don't have Concussive Palm. So I can't keep 4 mana up for Bastion also. Obviously that's 14 mana. I can't have that much mana. I could still play the Eye of the Rahoric right now. It would round start stun those two. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Hey Tograk. Okay, so I could go Garen this round instead, and try to and set up Scourge next round. For justice, for democracy. Oh, I don't get the countdown. Or I don't get the daybreak. I always forget I don't get that daybreak. I need to play that first. But I just, I didn't have the room to play it first. And the eye only stuns these two four twos, and that's just not important. So. Virtue guides me. Definitely win this game. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. If I open attack with the scourge, they don't usually play like bounce spells, right? Like if I play the scourge this round. Besides, you know, like the least in attack, of course. cards left that's kind of telling that they had to use a a hush so i know i could have bastion and, and save that but i want to play this card
This isn't really lethal with these tasty fate folks. But hopefully we kill Lee Sin. You're strange. All right, cool. Because if we kill the Lee Sin there, then that's two Lee Sins, and they have to hope to have the other one. It is a good day to be and yeah, I'd be, probably be playing the either or Horik this next round, so they'd have to have the other one, and then also have something else smaller so it doesn't get stunned by the either or Horik. And then also have like the spells and be able to kill me through Bastion. We are asking a lot from them. Yeah, I didn't even notice that we just got to Diamond after that last game. But yeah, we're in Diamond now. There we go, rank it on up. This is, um, I, I think I'm, I don't know, I might have mentioned it before we hit record or something, but whenever you play these kind of like Targon decks that are, you know, like this, the only, like the worst card for you to possibly see is Aurelian Soul, because Aurelian Soul just goes bigger than you. So this is definitely the worst matchup we can have. When you, yeah, Targon, or like Aurelian Soul is just the biggest thing in Targon, so Targon is invoke decks. It doesn't mean that we're going to lose, you know, it's just that card is really, really difficult to beat. So hopefully they don't have it. Um, looks like they're playing Zoe as well, so like maybe they only have one copy of Aurelian Soul, maybe it's two, one, you know, two, three, it's it's obviously three Shivana. It's just, you know, I don't know which version they're going to go with, you know, two of which. Hopefully it's maybe just one Aurelian Soul and they don't draw it. Yeah, basically only Targon can be Targon. Another day guarding the walls. Ready weapons. <laughs> Love it. Because what's great about that for us is now I can play Protege and Priestess and still have the, the two mana for Sharp Sight available for future turns. Um, and the, the better play is Protege. I mean, but I want to just Priestess. All right, maybe we'll just Priestess. Because if, if I Protege, they, they just don't play anything for me to to kill with Protege. Hmm. Which that's, I guess, does sound pretty good. They just play nothing here and pass. Hush is nice. Ooh, these are good cards. Man, these invoke cards, they're pretty good. So assuming I want to play Garen next round, you know, be looking at like a warrior later on to try to challenge a Shivana. Written in stars to try to find Malphite. That's I don't think I want to do that. Blessing. Get big Malphite. Hopefully we draw Malphite and not Garen. 60% chance of Malphite. Definitely considering like having Protege challenge and then just hit them with Garen and get the one out of two for the Garen. Oh, now it's like Two sharp sights out of them. Ah, uh, they had a hush also. Okay, well. That's too bad. Please don't have a really in soul also. Just don't, just don't. No really in soul. 
Come on. Can I say not to have that card? That's unlucky. 33% chance to draw Garen. So unfortunately, opponent had exactly what we lose to. Um, you know, big dragons. They also have sharp sight hush, and they finish with a really soul. It's just exactly what we lose to. All right. Two and one. We're still probably just not winning. All right, Zoe Diana. So we're going to hopefully find some sharp sight to deal with Zoe. Okay, there's sharp sight. Deal with Zoe. Very good. I'm going to look in that. And the Fangs is just a good card, but I do need, like, a, a two-drop to block. Let's see. We have the attack token on the on the odd turns. They only mulliganed one card, which is a bad sign for me. Ugh, I don't want that card. No Zoe, no Zoe. Pass. This didn't go well. They're getting lots of free cards over there. <laughs> Blue Sentinel. Where were you last round? At least that round was good for us. Alright, gotta kill Mountain Scryer. So depending on what they did, you know, I, I may have played like the Solari Priestess this next round to challenge the goats with the Priestess, because you know it'd be a 2 2, but with them playing the Scryer, you gotta try to kill Scryer. So we're gonna be going with the Fangs. Yeah. Protege could possibly do it as well. Okay, so this this is gonna be a big time invoke deck. So I could see Equinox against like the big invoke stuff. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna take you bombs. And also, if this challenge doesn't work, maybe I just Equinox the Mountain Scryer. Just all invoke over there. Shadow Isles is probably for like atrocity for the big invoke stuff. Um, unspeakable horror is another option. block with the blue sentinel could also simply not block let my lifesteal stuff help me out a little bit more 
<laughs> yeah. Jack says, so much Targon and ranked again. So much played every version of Zoe, Aurelian, Soul, and Shivana possible yesterday. Yeah, we saw a lot yesterday and now today so far also. I've never wavered from Targon's the best region. And Celestials are the best thing to be doing. I've never wavered from that even with Aurelia Azir running around. Gonna need spots. Okay, final answer. I feel like you just need all the card advantage possible in this matchup, so I think you're just going to take the Messenger because it draws a card. So let's see, I single combat that thing. And then I challenge it with the doggo. That's a big effect. I guess if they're playing a whole bunch of those. We could certainly struggle. I just don't love playing the fangs and having it die to the serpent. Of the moon, we open our hearts to her gentle light. I cannot turn back. So Cosmic Rays looks really nice right now. It wouldn't get rid of Diana. I don't think I'll play it this next round. I think I'll play it the following round. You would have been great to have Egghead Researcher. Last round, that would have been nice to have that egghead researcher. Waste a little time, I'll have a break. Mm. I was really hoping they were going to pass to me again. And then if they were, I was going to pass back because they had 10 cards in the end. I got greedy. I should have just passed. <laughs> but I guess we got rid of that double stun. Got that other hand. I assume this is Pell Cascade and it saves Diana. The good news of that is now they don't have Hell Cascade against the Cosmic Rays. Why did they just play another one? That's great for me. They just played another one? Did they not realize that the Diana was already saved? That's that's great for me. They just wasted another one. Yeah, that's fantastic. So trying to catch up after that Sky's Descend. These last two decks, these, you know, really in Soul and then all Targon is just, <laughs> you want to face anything else. 
because that's how you beat our Targon deck is with Targon. Drew every Diana. It's hard, it's hard to toss the game when you have a card like um, that Skies Ascend and you always have 10 cards in hand. It's, it's hard to mess it up. So I wouldn't necessarily say that they're tossing the game. It's, that's pretty difficult to do from this point. I would be happy with that. Less options for the invokes. I'd be happy with that. I've always been on the the side of invokes are too good. I'd be happy with like two options instead of three. Even if this works and takes out five of their six cards, it's just not a big deal for them <laughs> with having a million cards in hand. But at least, you know, helps us stabilize a little bit. Yeah, I'm not saying that that's like the best idea, you know, like the perfect idea of making it two instead of three. I'm just saying that. I wouldn't mind. So they have something they would rather discard than the gem. How do they get Catrigrin? Eclipse Dragon. That's how. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. Opponent has the really big invoke cards that we have to save. Something like Equinox. Like we can't just use e Equinox to make this thing a 3-2 instead of a 5-2. It's just too valuable of a card to do that. Good card. No, I can't silence the seven four. Yeah, they just have such such bigger, better cards. I just can't. I may have to eventually, but I mean, I I don't. Yeah, like they like they're they're just stockpiling the really big. You just have to think they're just stockpiling the really big celestials. No, they haven't played any Shadow Alice cards. I I think it's probably just atrocity. I knew, I guess. That's why we couldn't silence any of the other ones. But this isn't going to be their only card like this. The the we haven't really drawn star shaping too much, right? Did we? Do we have any star shaping? We had one. We had one star shaping so far. So like that's like that's our hope is like find a star shaping. And have our star shape have a star shaping also get that that seven mana card cosmic inspiration. That's our best hope. That or 
you know, we haven't really found Malphite either. You know, maybe Malphite stun everything, you know, does the whole stun everything thing. Those are really our best hopes. They used a ton of Pale Cascades earlier. They've played three so far. But two of them were Diana's Pale Cascades. I just, I need, I would like to play the peak right here, but we need the room next round. <clears throat> if we didn't need the room, we would play that. Sharp Sight's a good card. Yeah, I don't have a great way to play Eclipse Dragon, though. I would like to play Eclipse Dragon, but don't have a great way to play it. I need to level up this Garen somehow, but I don't really know how. I wouldn't mind drawing a Judgment from Garen. I'm just freeing up a spot for them. Passing is definitely a pri an option. I didn't because we get to make a Dragon. You never know, we can find like infinite Mind Splitters. They could be really important. Yep, this is Targon. Thirty, you know, it's yeah, it's been a thirty-minute game, and both players still just have millions of cards. <laughs> full, full board, full hand, full mana. The games never end. If they ever have like another one of those Aurelian Soul Champion spell type cards. Fun game, GG's. Didn't have single combat. Stomp that. So yeah, it's just atrocity for those big slash shields is, is what they use Shadow Isles for. Alright, Thresh Nasus. It's not Targon. So, very happy. I like our chances. Obviously that card's gone, and I think the scene, yeah, single combat's gonna be gone too. We'll keep Protege Sharp Sight. Yeah, I could have thrown away the Radiant Guardian earlier to you know just traded traded the Radiant Guardian away um, earlier and gotten some life steal. And yeah, I mean I guess that's what I needed to do. So I wanted to have Sharp Sight available also, but if I find a gift don't...
Okay, so we're at 16. I got a good size 4 3. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. That combo is still pretty good. Hopefully no Thresh also, like... <laughs> sure, I guess a Black Spear too. This has been a pretty good first four turns for them. Two Curse Keepers with Ravenous Butchers, a Merciless Hunter, and a... Merciless Hunter and the Black Spear. I don't think Star Tip Peak... Like, Star Tip Peak... Could, make, could give me a couple blockers. Like, okay, if I play Peak and Protege this round, um, then next round it doesn't do anything. So then the round after that is when we get the slash shells, but they're already attacking at that point. We fight for those who cannot. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. That's all right. I'd rather lose this game than lose the previous game. What's our rank? Uh, we just got into Diamond just a little bit ago. It's not bad. Not bad at all. So, of course, my best draw is another Garen. That's what we need is another Garen. It's not it. I have to pass and represent judgment. I don't, yeah, I don't think this is a bad matchup for us. I think our opponent's hand was amazing and worked out really well, but I don't think this is, like, I would be happy playing this matchup plenty. I think that we beat this matchup a couple of times the other time we played this deck. But, you know, really good hand. Double Curse Keeper, Ravenous Butcher. You know, you get two, two four threes and two three twos for four total mana. And then, you know, the double Merciless Hunter. Black Spear Thrash, like that's it's a that's a really good quality hand. Okay, well I guess they just weren't worried about judgment. All right, so that was our first Garen deck of the day. First two games was looking good. Uh, then, you know, we ran into some some Targon matchups. And, um, you know, like they were... They're Targon matchups. <laughs> we're, we're a little bit worse than some of the other Targon decks. Like our, our opponents had like some good stuff, right? They had the um, the Aurelian Soul got us in game three. And game four was pretty close. I guess I could have gained a little bit of extra life with a Radiant Guardian. Thrown that away uh, to try to protect against Atrocity. Um you know, like, we we just got atrocity. That'll happen. And then that last one, our opponent had a very good quality hand. Um, I like this deck, though. You know, it's it's our first one here for, for Garen Day. Um, I I think our deck's pretty strong, and I think it's it's definitely strong against aggro. Didn't really face too much aggro. I guess that I guess that last deck, Thresh Nasus, I guess you could call that aggro for just, for, like, the hand they had. But, um, yeah, it was too, too good of a hand for me. All right, so that's going to be it here for Garen Malphite. We got three other Garen decks, though. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll have three other Garen decks. We'll see how we do with all of those. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, uh, you know, feel free to leave those comments. Um, sorry I kind of sounded pretty negative there those last couple of games. I kind of realized that. I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna let's We'll get back to being positive here for our next uh, for our next decks. Uh, we'll get out of, out of this Targon region. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll bring some, some positivity and some fun games here with LeBlanc, Zed, and Renekton. So going to be a lot more attacking and a lot cooler games. All right, but that's it here for Garen Malphite. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.